This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the Epiphany of the Lord. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I'm Barb Zorn from St. Columba Cathedral and Holy Family Parish in Poland. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Peter and Stella Bylas. The first Noel, the angel did say, was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. No In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you today as we gather to celebrate God's love and presence. And let us now acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest, highest. And, and on, on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O God, God, Almighty Father, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lord Lamb of God, Son of, God, Son of the Father, Father you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who now know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will adore, adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will adore, adore you. you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will adore, adore you. you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will, will adore you. you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth, earth will adore, adore you. you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frank incense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, before the turn of the century, 
An American clergyman named Henry Van Dyke wrote a short story that he called The Other Wise Man. As you might have guessed from the title, the story was inspired by St. Matthew's Gospel, our reading for today. It's about a Persian priest named Artaban, who had planned to travel with three of his friends to the land of Israel in search of the newborn king of the Jews. Now in preparation for the pilgrimage, Artaban sold all of his possessions and bought three precious gems, a sapphire, a ruby, and a pearl, which he planned to present as king's gifts. But on the way to join his friends, he stopped to help a sick man that he found lying beside the road. Now he stayed with the man until he was well, but this delay caused his friends to conclude that Artaban wasn't coming, so they left without him. So he sold one of his jewels, the sapphire, and used the money to buy the necessary provisions for crossing the Syrian desert. Now after a long, hard journey, he arrived in Bethlehem three days after his friends had started back home. He also learned that Joseph and Mary had taken the newborn king and fled to Egypt in order to escape the wrath of King Herod. While he was there, soldiers came and started to kill the baby boys under the age of two. So Artaban used his beautiful ruby as a bribe to save the life of one child. With nothing left except the pearl and a burning commitment, Artaban traveled to Egypt. There he talked with an old Jewish rabbi who advised him to seek the newborn king among the poor and the lowly. So Artaban began visiting the slums, the slave markets, the prisons, always in search of the newborn king. And in the words of Van Dyke, though he found none to worship, he found many to help. After more than three decades, his search brought him to Jerusalem. 33 years had slipped by since Artaban left his home in quest of the newborn king. Now he was an old man and his hair was as white as his robe. The streets of Jerusalem were crowded that day and a kind of morbid excitement filled the air. Artaban inquired and learned that an execution was in the making. They were going to crucify a man who was called King of the Jews. Artaban's heart was in his throat. At long last, his search was about to be paid off, but too late. The king was going forth to die. Suddenly, Artaban's thoughts were interrupted by streams and screams and terror, turned and he saw a young woman being dragged away by two soldiers. He asked the nature of her offense and was told that she had committed no crime, but was being sold as a slave in order to settle the debts of her family. True to form, Artaban reached into his pocket and produced the beautiful pearl, his last jewel, and he used it to buy the woman's freedom. At that exact moment, an earthquake shook the city and a falling tile from a nearby building struck Artaban a fatal blow. As the old man lay dying, the young woman heard him whisper, Lord, when did I see you hungry and feed you or naked and clothe you or sick and visit you? And a voice from somewhere answered, as often as you did it for one of my least sisters and brothers, you did it for me. The other wise man had found his king. It's of course a fanciful story, but in a large sense, it's a parable of life. The original wise men found Jesus in Bethlehem. The other wise men found him in the lives of people. If you and I are to find Christ, the newborn king, it will not be in the same place as the original wise men found him, but 
It will be in the lives of people, all sorts of people. Together now let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we provide light in the darkness for those who are lost, those who are troubled, and those who are afraid. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all nations may be sympathetic to the plight of people who feel they have no choice but to flee their home and seek refuge in a foreign land. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who are traveling and far from home, that they may be kept safe, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For scientists who study phenomena as near as the ground beneath our feet and as distant as the stars in the sky, that they may increase our understanding and appreciation of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our parishes, that we may always welcome with open arms all those who are drawn to our light with sincere hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, as you made known your son to the ages through the guidance of a star, may we continue to make his presence known through our lives and through our service to others. And we make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Let us pray to the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frank incense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed and received, Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead, lead us, us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us share with those around us a sign of peace. Peace, Lamb of God, 
you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day. Drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We three kings of Orient are Bearing gifts we traverse afar, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, star of wonder, star of 